I'm at the entrance to Train Mountain. Notice they have real trains. Ish. <laughs> oh, that's cool. This one has like rubber tires on the wheels. Anyway, here's a really small motorized vehicle. This is standard gauge for the US. Here's a speeder, not covered. Here's another speeder, the regular covered kind, the relatively modern. These are all obsolete, that's why they're in museums now, or people's playgrounds. You'd be amazed how many people drive these things for fun. If I was rich, I probably would. Okay, so check it out. Here's a rotary snowblower. This looks like a safe place to stand, don't you think? Wow, it's even got a coupler. That's heavy. Notice there's stairs up here. Keep off. Do not climb. Hmm. You gotta admit, it sounds like fun. Uh, CPVP435 Wolkus. CPVP 474 Fuego. I don't know if that's an acronym or a name or what. But notice there's stairs so we can go up inside. Alrighty then. SPMW 206. 283, no, 238,240 pounds. Wow. So check it out. Look at all this cool equipment up here. Wow, it's hot out here. Look at the way it's peeling. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to ask him if that's like lead paint or something. <laughs> it's old enough, I wouldn't be surprised. And then look down here. I'm not gonna bother to climb down here because I got both hands full. One for the camera and one for the flashlight. <laughs> anyway, wow, look at all this stuff. So, right, 600 volts. Wow, we're so high up. Huh. Cool, there's like a little walkway here. I'm not sure, oh, those are electrical lines. Geez, those are huge electrical lines. I wonder how many, well, obviously they're insulated. Hmm. There's a walkway here. I will be tempted to the dark side. Huh, there's a nice electrical panel back there. Bells, all sorts of equipment here. Gee, ow. Batteries. I remember those big old six volt batteries. There's actually uh, four 1.5 volt batteries inside them. Here's pictures of what it looked like when it was working for real. Huh. Tiny train, gas powered. The steams are most fun to watch, and they sound cool. But I heard they're more trouble than they're worth. Electric's the easiest. Hopefully the future is an electric for everything. <laughs> Slowly but surely, once they invent better batteries, once they have decent priced solid state batteries, then hopefully we can say goodbye to gasoline. Huh? See how it goes. Signals over here too. All sorts of antique equipment. This is officially a museum, Train Mountain Museum. So yeah, makes sense. There's that snow blower again. This looks kind of like a caboose, but it's a weird looking caboose. Well, let's go up and take a look around, shall we? Notice the blades underneath. Got all sorts of levers in here. No idea what it's all for. Oh, that's funny. I'm like too big to fit. <laughs> I need to get skinnier. Fusees and torpedoes. Man, I really gotta find out if that's a spelling error or what. 
fusees and torpedoes. Uh, Calamus. stuck up here. <laughs> I'm like too fat to be walking around here. All right, here we go. What's weird, notice how this blade is an indentation in the, uh... I think it's the woods just falling apart. Anyway, two blades, one point in each direction. Must be to clear off the rat. Oh, here we go. When snow is light, the flanger is put to work. The flanger has two steel blades that are lowered between the rails. Air cylinders move the blades. One blade throws snow to one side while the other blade does the opposite. Snow is between the rails before it becomes a buildup of ice, thus possibly derailing the train. The springs have been removed from the trucks to prevent the flanger from moving up and down while plowing with the lo blades lowered. Oh, interesting. 40 miles per hour. So what happens if you go 45 in that thing? But yeah, it actually goes down in between the rails and it, the, it says it's to clean the ice out of there to make sure the trains don't derail from ice. Makes sense. Southern Pacific type, a Jordan spreader. So remove snow on single tracks as long as it's not too deep. 35 for main tracks or 25 for branch lines. All right, faster, faster. <laughs> I like this big gap in here. It's like a good place to ride. Well, let's take a look inside, shall we? It smells sketchy in here. Nice window. <laughs> nice neighborhood. Wow, it's skinny in here. Because this isn't the whole width. See, out here, there's more to it. It's a nice view of that. What do they call it? It's not, not a snow spreader. It's like a snow scraper. Right. I'm not sure if we're allowed to open this door. So I'll just look out here. I don't really have any hands free anyway. <sighs> I brought my flashlight collection with me so I can go caving on this trip. I might go to one or two caves, I'm mostly on this trip for trains, but it's good to be prepared in case you see something cool. Depends on how it goes. There's a lot I want to do in the next week. Look at this big thing that come way, way out. I didn't see any pictures of 